My name is Greg, I'm in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and you're watching Trucker Josh. Good morning everyone. We're here in Seda Gaff, Manitoba. The truck is dirty. We have a load on our trailer. It's a wide load. You can see the flag right there. We're headed to Fargo, North Dakota. Picked this load up in our yard last night. Got a little bit of a head start. Came here, grabbed some fuel so I could go to bed with full tanks of fuel. It was minus 31 Celsius all night. So it was very cold. I wanted to stop someone with a 24 hour access building so that if the truck decided to stop running, Diesel and I had a warm building where we can go and keep warm. Stayed here for the night, and uh, yeah, now we're ready to hit the road. It's gonna be a good day. So let's get out there. You ready to go, Diesel? What's that rattling voice over there? Something that's rattling away in my door. It'll stop as soon as I start moving, I'm sure. All right, let's just get this thing on. Don't want to look at a dirty steering wheel all day. Okay. All right. Got my coffee, got my breakfast. Let's get going. Trailer is gonna come with us. It's attached. The brakes engage and the brakes release. Hmm. This is all plugged up. I'm gonna sneak through the scale. Nice right, so and slow and easy. I don't need to scale, but got the green light anyways. Thank you. I'm just gonna roll right on over. Being very careful that my wide load doesn't hit anything. Lots of space, lots of space. gonna be a good day we're gonna have fun and at the end of today we'll be at home so that's fun okay mr. Volvo I'll wait for you oh no you're flashing your lights you're waiting for me okay gotcha I guess I have to turn my radio on thank you very much I can't figure out. Continue on this road for 69 kilometers. I can't figure out what they're talking about. It's the one thing I don't 
like about the CB. It's very hard to understand what people are saying, even if they're well-spoken. Oh, hey, Diesel, nice of you to join us. Good morning, sleepyhead. It's always like mumble and can't really tell what anyone is saying. I don't use it a lot. I don't really like the CB, but it does come in handy every now and then. Diesel, can you sit down, please? Thank you. Good boy. Good boy. Off we go. It's supposed to be pretty windy today, so yay. Guard the truck, man, all right? Gotta unload. Oh. So remember we delivered walls for that building over there? It's almost done already. Now they're building another one right here, just like it. And I've got some of the walls for them. Just taking off all my signs and stuff to the front of the truck. I'm gonna roll up all my straps once he's done there. I don't want to go on this side of the load here. I'm just staying over here by the truck. Because as you can see, he's grabbing that right there. So I don't want to go there. Oh, he's gonna pick it up. He's got long forks on this loader he's using. He's gonna get it. Oh, he's gotta go further in. See what he's pushing it further this way. That's why I don't want to go. <laughs> he's not even close to like coming over the edge and falling this way, but. I don't want to risk it. There we go. There we go. He's got it. He's got it. He's going to take the whole thing. See the second one? Nice. There it goes. It'll turn into apartments. These walls are for the second story, obviously. You did good old blue, you pulled against wind all the way here. Proud of you. There he goes. Dropping down over there. 
and I'll continue on my way back home. Just going back home empty, just a couple hours back. That's okay. I'm just gonna put out the sails and just whew, ride the wind. It's gonna be great. Probably gonna get like 15 miles per gallon on the way home. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. It'll probably be more like eight, but hey, eight is better than six. Science. Or is that math? Math. Ah! Woo! Okay. Well, that was fun. Feels so warm outside. It's only a minus 20 Celsius right now. Oh, after working outside all day yesterday, oh, unloading, reloading, and then reloading again in minus 32. This, uh, this feels pretty warm. I like it. I didn't even really need this, but let's go get old blue wash and let's go home. Everything is signed. I'll send that in right away. Yeah. Home time. Home bath time and home time. Yeah. Oh, what a week. What a cold week, but we're through it now. It's supposed to be warmer next week. A lot warmer. A lot, lot warmer. So, oh, so glad this has been a more mild of a winter. Oh, last winter was so cold for so long and everyone was all freaking out. The world's ending! Ah, everything's changing, climate change. I'm like, just wait till next year. And this year it's a little milder and the same people are like, ah! <laughs> the world is ending. It's not supposed to be this warm. You can't win. You can't win. If it's warm, if it's nice and warm, they're telling you it means it's the world is ending. If it's too cold, the world is ending. What point are we just satisfied and just like, hey, the weather's nice. I'm glad the world's not ending. There is no point. It's like, it's either this way or it's that way, but the world is always ending. Always. Let's go. I am excited for this bath. Old Blue deserves it. I gotta back out of here a little bit. Yeah, Old Blow deserves it. It's last time I washed it was in London, Ontario, at the Northern Pride or the Northern. Same thing as Blue Beacon, just the Canadian version. Now we're gonna go to the real Blue Beacon in Fargo. I got all the salt on her still from that trip through Northern Ontario with that wide steel load the truck is just like white with salt it's awful got to go get that all washed off all of it get the motor washed the frame washed get the undercarriage washed all right I know you guys can't see where I'm going but trust me I'm not hitting anything famous last words hit the toilet. Let's not hit those forks that are sticking out on that little Kubota. Two blue beacon. There you go.
nothing better than a spa day. Seriously, getting a truck wash is just as satisfying as getting a, an actual massage on your body. It's like I can feel it through the truck. It feels so good. It's so good. And the roads are clear, so I should be able to get this thing back to the shop with it still clean, get it inside, and anything of the water that freezes onto it because of the cold weather, it'll melt off in the shop over the weekend tonight. <laughs> She's steaming. Oh, that's nice. That is much nicer. I told him to pay special attention to my frame back here. Get all that salt off of there. Beautiful. Much better, right? Go. Let's get out of here. Turn all our lights on. Okay. Oh, wait one second. Ha <laughs> ha, my mirror. What are you doing there? I gotta tighten you up. There you go. There you go. I know it looks kind of loose, but it's not. It's good. Hey, man, they really. It's good. I need a new bracket on there. Oh, now my window's gonna be all dirty. Oh well. Oh well. A lot cleaner than it was. Are you good? You good, Diesel? You ready to rock? Thunder Weasel? Stop rattling. I command thee. Stop it! Stop it! Obey. Hey! Hey! old truck come on old blue stop doing that to me okay let's go no more delays let's go home let's roll by all these other dirty trucks in our nice clean truck real slow shall we I think I'll get a good look look how clean she is hey huh Look, oh, oh. oh, that one's pretty clean too. This one's dirty. I like his headlights, nice. I like that, that's cool. Look how clean my truck is. No, no one cares, no one cares, okay. Works better in Canada, cause uh, <laughs> trucks are dirtier up there. So our, our roads are dirtier. How do I get out of here? This way, I think. Oh, this way. phone never shuts up but it's okay it's okay it's better than it being too quiet you know at least people want to talk to me there we go that's how we get out of here so always if you don't know how to get out of this parking lot you just keep doing circles like for the first like the first time when I came here I had no idea how to get out of here this is a bit of a blind corner too Stop here. So we're just gotta use your convex mirror. Take a look. Oh, oh, someone's coming. Someone just turned on. Sure no one else is coming. No one else, no one else. Oh, okay. You're gonna cut in there too? All right, Mr. Ford, I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. My turn. I 
still want to go to that place there one of these times. When I stay in Fargo, I've, I've got to stay at the Petrol one night and walk over to the Space Aliens Bar and Grill. Always wanted to go in there and see what it looked like. Looks pretty cool. I don't know, I'm all into aliens and stuff. People always say, you believe in aliens? Well, they're already here. They live in the moon, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I heard from a friend who heard it from another friend. They live in the moon. They also live inside the earth. They're not actually aliens, they're from here. But they live inside the earth and on the moon. The far side of the moon. <laughs> what do I know? And there's lizard people, of course, controlling the whole world. The lizard people are shapeshifters, though. So they can make themselves look like anything they want to. They could be an animal. They could be uh, a president. They could be uh, a tree, you know? Shapeshifters. Could be anyone around me. For all you know, I'm an alien. It always feels so much better to Parker in here clean so much better I mean the rest of the shop needs to be cleaned up but at least old blue is clean okay so I've got everything out just got the last couple of floor towels here some laundry detergent to bring home one of these days I'm gonna have time to come in here and really do a organizing cleanup but I have more important things to worry about. I have to finish the baby nursery. That is priority numero uno. You have a good night, old blue. We'll see you soon. Diesel, you have a good trip? You have fun? You were ready to come home though. Definitely Chevy. Jealous right away. What's going on? Are you handing out pets? I'll take some, please. I'll take some right here on my butt. Thank you. You're such a brat. How many weeks? 32. How are you feeling? Tired and sore. Yeah. And that's okay. I'm still happy. That's what counts. Well, we made it home. We've got a bunch of stuff to do on this weekend. We'll show you all that in tomorrow's video but today's video i wanted to show you something that came in the mail for us uh to our uh, post office address some of you have been asking uh recently i have all of my contact information including a, a mailing address down below in the description of every video we went to the post office and we found this it's from pam and fred in new hampshire i haven't opened it yet i wanted to open it here with brit i think it might be something for the baby Oh, it just might be. You want to open it? Sure. It came with a very nice card and uh, a nice letter. That we can't show you because their address is on there. <laughs> I think we can show you in here though. Yes. All right. Nicely wrapped. Did you see the, the gift wrap? Tiny toes. Tiny toes. Tiny fingers. Welcome little one. Bundle of joy. That's why I thought it must be something for the baby. Kind of oh, gave it away. The letter also states that it is. Oh. Let's see what it is. I'm not reusing the paper, so. It says that she made it. She oh. made it. That's right. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so colorful. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Look at those colors. Are they showing up in the video? Yeah. Wow. I don't know how you ladies do, or some men do it too, but I don't know how people do this. <laughs> I've gotten like 0.5% of a cross-stitched stocking done and I'm already exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Thank you so much, guys. 
for Pam. I'm assuming Pam made it. <laughs> but we'll thank Fred too. So delivery day, baby day, is coming very soon. Chevy, you like it? Yeah, I like it. A lot of baby stuff showing up lately. What's yeah. going on? Probably smells a little bit like their dog Maddie Lynn. I read in the oh in the letter. Do you smell their dog? Yeah. All the way from New Hampshire. Wow, where's that? Not too far away. Northeast U.S. It's a small state, no, but you got great either. people there. I'm gonna go put this I've been in New Hampshire. Stuff, I, I haven't been there too often. I think I've been through there a couple of times. I don't think you've yeah. ever brought me there. I'm not, never in there for very long because it's so small you just drive right through and then you're in the next state. There's like, it's around the whole area, right? Like uh, New Hampshire, Connecticut, uh, Vermont, New England area, right? Yeah. Geography. High school, American geography. We had to learn where all your states were. Mm -hmm. So seeing as it's going to be a scheduled C-section, we don't know exactly when it's going to be yet. Uh, we meet with a surgeon soon, right? Yeah, on the 27th we're seeing a surgeon. Okay, then we'll know. So we're trying to find a creative way of introducing the baby to you guys here. After we've introduced the baby, obviously, to our family and close friends here at home. Uh, so once we have let them meet the baby, I'm thinking of maybe doing a, a live stream Kind of like an online, what do you call it? A meet and greet. Meet and greet. Like an online meet and greet. I was going to say baby shower, but not, not, a, not, it's not like a that. baby shower, just a meet and But I'm actually kind of thinking, because there's been a few of you who have been sending us gifts like this for the baby already. And that's awesome. We really appreciate that. But I think from here on, I might be saving them. And then when we do the live stream meet and greet with you guys... We'll open them all up on the live stream there with the baby here in the world already with us. What do you guys think of that? Cool. So this will be the last one we open before baby comes. Uh, we'll save all the rest until after. Whenever the baby gets delivered, uh, it'll probably be last week in March, I'm thinking. Yeah, around 20... Or 20. Uh, 38, 39 weeks-ish. I don't know, we're kind of estimating around the 25th of March. We don't know. So I might be coming off the road a week sooner and then going back a week sooner, depending. So my my end date when I park the truck might change yet, depending on, on this. But yeah, I was, I was kind of thinking, we'll, we'll obviously uh, let the family, our family here and close friends, meet the baby first. And then when we're ready, we'll do the meet and greet. And then at that time, we'll take all of the gifts that you guys have sent for the baby and we'll open them all up on the live stream with you. We'll, we'll tell you far in advance when it'll be. It'll be on a weekend sometime, like a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon or something. And uh, you guys can all join us for the meet and greet and uh, watch us open the gifts then. I think that would be the best way. I think so too. Then it's all in one video too and it's not spread out through the vlogs. And mm -hmm. We can sort of save it away in a special little playlist so we can go back to it years later and watch it. Britt is looking very tired. You were just saying you need a nap and we just woke up. I have a lot of insomnia and hip pain. I can't imagine. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Yeah, I've decided Josh is gonna carry the baby for the next seven, eight weeks. Yep. Or wait, I guess it's six or seven weeks. Yeah, six or seven weeks. Uh, we yeah. We'll make it happen. Science. It's 2023. That's right. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, i got to end this vlog here because we're going to start tomorrow's. We'll be at home tomorrow running errands, getting some stuff done, and working on the baby nursery. And uh, she might be napping. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm but, a very uh... good napper. Actually, no, I'm not. I toss and turn a lot. That's okay. You get a little bit of sleep here and there. <laughs> so, yeah. Let us know what you think of that uh, meet and greet live stream with the baby after it's born, uh, let us know down below in the comment section what you uh, what you think of that and what would be better, a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. And we'll uh, take whichever one is most popular and we'll do that. We'll talk about it more as the date comes closer. That would be in April sometime, probably. Something early April? Yeah, probably. All the parents and siblings would have met them by then, so 
Parents, siblings, and Ashley, the mm -hmm. important people. A lot of you are important, but you know what I mean. So we'll see you tomorrow.